going to show you some of them here in this uh, episode today. Uh, and I have never looked back. I still stretch today, and I'm 53, so uh, I encourage all my players to stretch. Now this first one is for uh, the hips, and it helps you to be able to rotate through your shots. Just lie down, and then again, you pull your hip over as far as you can. And then from there, you would do, you know, over this way, and continue to stretch. And then, of course, if you can, then you would just lie down almost like you were lying in bed. Then, of course, you would reverse it, and you would do it the opposite direction. So I'm going to go with the same thing, but the other side. First, lay down here. And notice I'm keeping my left hand here so that I can make sure my hip area is getting a full rotation. And then here, and then here. Uh, one of the things I do when I finish playing or teaching is I begin to stretch and I usually go up on my tiptoes, take a deep breath, and then I spread my feet out and exhale as I go down. And what that does is it loosens up this whole lateral oblique area over here all the way up as you go on your arms. And the more that you exhale as you go, the more stretch you'll get. Same thing, I go up on my toes, reach up as high as I can, take a deep breath, and then exhale going downwards. You notice the progression there as you do that, you'll get even more stretch, but again, we know our torso and tennis, we're using it almost every shot. Then again, I'll reach out and I'll just put my fingers up, and it's just almost like a static kind of position. But again, as you push out, I tell my students, push out like a wall, like Indiana Jones is coming at you. Then again, down. Maybe I'll count in my head to say six or something or seven. Backwards. And then forwards. By doing that, you're stretching out all of your forearm muscles, a little bit of your shoulders, a little bit of your triceps. Then I start just shaking it out. And notice I'm kind of bouncing a little up and down while I do this, just to stay loose, okay? Then I'll do, again, the side to side. Now this can all, this particular one can also be used in a dynamic stretch in terms of warm up, but I do this to warm down as well, because every ground stroke you're hitting, this way, backhand, it's the same basic motion, so I believe that you need to loosen up as well as that. And the next one I would do would be uh, to stretch my legs out. Now you can do this on a wall, on a fence, but if you don't have that, if you're just on a cord, just come here and again, you just try to keep your legs straight, you're stretching out your hamstring back in here, okay? I try to grab my toe, balance on my heel, use my opposite hand to help me balance if I need to. Then I'll hold it again, usually count of five or seven, how much time you have. Then again, I'll just come straight forward. This one, of course, your groin area, your upper leg area, every low ball that you hit, you're going down on a low shot, these are all important. And again, I would just rotate, do the opposite side the same way, okay? Very important that you stretch both sides, in the calves, the, you know, the, the hamstring up in here, and going over here. This also will help, like, if people have sciatica or any of those kinds of things, uh, some professionals like Andre Agassi and many years ago Trace Dawson had to retire because of sciatica which really shoots up the back of your leg. Those stretches are really good. Then I uh, continue by doing a back stretches and this also will work your hamstring depending on how loose or tight you are. Uh, this will also help there but just begin by um, Placing this foot in here, and if this is my left leg, my, my right leg is here, left is here, I'll take my left hand and I try to grab the outside of my shoe. Now, some people can't do that. I have students that can barely get to their knee. I say, that's fine. Just begin where you can, but keep this leg straight. Their tendency is to raise up because they're tight. But for me now, I've been doing this a long time. I can go here, and the goal, the goal is again to put your nose on your knee. Okay, not to show off, but that, that, this, this is good because you can really feel it down here that lumbar area of your back, okay? Again, same thing with the opposite foot, okay? Crossover, notice I'm not grabbing the inside, grabbing the outside, and I'm pulling across this way. Again, exhaling. 
As you do that, your body will, will loosen up even more. Now the next one, again, I just call it the pretzel. There's probably other names for it, because, but you end up looking like a pretzel. And notice I'm already sitting down. I take my right leg, cross it over my left. And notice I put my left elbow in here. Then I put my right hand back, press your elbow against the outside of your knee, and twist. And as you do that, you can really feel it in your low back. But also what's actually being stretched is your abs. Because the abdomen, which of course you're using all the torso shots, the ground strokes, so for any low ball, uh, even on the serve, you're reaching up, you haven't used that, you're just getting a good stretch. For me too, the, I mentioned the American Twist serve earlier, my uh, uh, rotator cuff, as I'm doing that, I can feel my rotator cuff getting a good stretch there. Now again, I switch it up, cross over this way, put my right elbow inside that, in this side, and then I stretch back this way. You just push as much as you can handle. Now the last one, again, um, for me, you can do one of two things, okay? If, if I, I usually have my students do this, where they, you know, I just try to get them to reach over and touch their toes. That's a good one. Keep your legs straight and just try to go down as far as you can. Again, exhaling as you go. If you can, you grab, you know, your heels and do that. That's a very good one. Again, for that whole general area. Now for me, again, I've been doing this a long time, so what I like to actually do, and of course there's a pad underneath this nice green thing here, but I like to go all the way over, because what this allows me to do is stretch my neck a little bit. My neck gets tight, uh, you know, you can, if you reach wide for a volley, which I like to volley, so Oftentimes I'm coming in for a low volley or something and my neck will whip and I can feel it over here or over here. Uh, and by, if you can roll over on your back, but that of course I wouldn't recommend to, you know, novices, I would make sure you're pretty loose first. But yeah, if you notice, that's that series of stretches right there, and I was talking as I went, didn't even take, what, five to seven minutes. If you get, you know, I developed that sort of, these are the things that work for me. There are other stretches that I'll use. Um, uh, if I'm, for example, competing, I'll, use, uh, I'll do it a little longer. Um, but you have to find what works for you and what helps your body loosen up. Uh, but yeah, I just encourage all players to stretch. Uh, it will enable you to avoid injury and, uh, I believe, recover and perform. You recover faster and perform better sooner. Because as we get older, we don't recover as fast. So to me, that's, that's a big reason why we should all strip. Thank you.